Visual Cadence helps you manage your Agile adoption journey. It's a set of actionable on-demand reports coupled with expert tailored advice to make you successful at continuous improvement. Let me show you how. Let's take a look at a real world scrum team and see how they've matured over time on a couple particular areas. To do so, I'm gonna look at the ship team and you can see the ship team as a scrum team because if we look at the phases that it goes through, we get to done on this fairly stair-step like cadence. Now, that's fairly common for a scrum team, but you see it's not quite perfectly stair-stepped, which is okay. Closed here means they've gone to production. So they're going to production over time more and more regularly, not just at the end of a sprint, but inside of the sprint. So that's a little bit of an indicator of maturity. But let's dive a lot more deeply. First thing I'll look at here then is a scatter plot. A scatter plot shows when they have completed their work, how long it took. So if I zoom into the scatter plot, we'll see we have a cycle time and a lead time. The cycle time is the time it takes from beginning to end once they start work to deliver it, and lead time is the time it takes from them once it's in the backlog to deliver it. Now this team, you can see, has delivered right at the very end of a sprint in almost most cases, but they've started to split this out and deliver more regularly in later sprints. Now what this is indicative of is a maturing scrum team that now has found that instead of all the development staff working to the very end and then throwing things over to the, the wall to the testers, even if they're on the same team, they're working together more collaboratively and getting things early to the testers. Let's take a look and see if that bears out in our cumulative flow. If I zoom into the cumulative flow, I can do something by getting rid of the closed state and it gives us a finger chart. A finger chart really should, if it's a nice clean flow, flow like looking at your three fingers, just solid bars. As you can see, this is not the case. Let's look at where the testers are doing their work. And in this team, it's in the resolved state. So we can see here that just in one or two days, we go from four items to be tested all the way up to 16. And then the next day it drops to two. Now this is a massive amount of spiky work that that test team is having to accomplish. That's very stressful for the test team and likely leads them to not do very good testing. As you can see later, however, we're smoothing out that effort and that's the in, an indication of a very mature scrum team. So you can see this beautiful flow as we get through. That's just one of the various things we can pull out of just those two reports. I'm gonna go out and look at one more thing. And a lot of scrum teams don't measure one of the key indicators of how well they're delivering, and that's looking at their cycle time. Now again, cycle time is after they've committed to it. They've pulled it into a sprint. And we can see, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more here. As we zoom into this, we can see that at about day 10, 10 days or less, they complete 50% of their work. But there's a lot of work that's completed after 14 days. Now most of it's done, 75% is done in 14 days or less. Since their sprint length is two weeks, we expect that. Notice how many items, however, are sliding beyond the sprint. In other words, these are items that have been moving from sprint to sprint to sprint. And as you can see, as they've gone further in their maturity and further down the line, they're getting worse and worse at delivering inside of the sprint. So that would be something that we really need to pay attention to with this particular team. Those are just a few of the very interesting things that you can pull out of Visual Cadence very easily. There's a lot more and I'd love to talk to you about them. Go ahead and reach out to us at info at visualcadence.com and I'll schedule a demo and we can talk through more.